Yo, what's up, Chris? What's up, man? What up, what up, what up? I'm good, man. You know, busy. You know, you've been busy. I've been busy. We've been doing a lot of work, and we haven't done these live shows in a long time. But, you know, today, I had to do it because, you know, I was online again looking for, through some stuff, and I saw a pair of uh, Curry 3 Lux, Luxury. You know what I'm saying? Like the lifestyle version of the Curry 3s. And again, I, I was scratching my head. I'm like, man, something wrong with this this under our company, man. Like, I don't know what they're thinking. You know, before I get into it, man, let me share my screen with you. And I want to show you what the shoes look like, and then we can go from there, all right? Let me share right. my screen real quick. Okay. Let's share the screen. I want to show you a picture. Uh, let me get down here. All right, let's get down here. And now, this is it right here. Uh, there's a shoe. Oh, it's taking a little while to like load up, so y'all bear with me. Uh, all right, come on, come on, shoe. There it is right here. Lux 33. I'm gonna show you another picture of it. Uh, so another one, that's the inner liner. That's the inside of the shoe. And this is the toe box, I guess, the toe area right around the side panel. You know, it's all leather. And this is the back side, the heel, the side panel. Looks, this is like horrible looking, man. I don't know what they're thinking. So let me go back to my screen real quick. And I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. Now, Chris. Right. First impression, no, what do you think, man? No, I was saying, I wish there was a way you could leave a little picture up so people could see the picture all the way through the video. All right, I guess I can do that. I, well, no, I, there's no way I to leave. Uh, let me go back. You know what? Let me go back and, and share my screen again with you. Uh, I can't drag the picture and show it to you, but I can share my screen again, and, and then we can go. We can talk, and I just lock, you know, like keep the, uh, the thing locked in on the shoe. So this is all you're going to see. Now, let's let's go ahead, man. Let's see if you can see it. I don't, no, it looks like it's just... It's just layered, man. So the picture's not there. Don't worry about it. What about now? Can you see it? Me and you, and it's just a bunch of uh, pictures floating back. So don't worry about it. Don't worry about, about it. Now? Can you see it? You know. Can you see it now? Yep. I can see right. it. Just now fine. go ahead and talk about it, man. Well, I mean, I, I don't even want to get into it, man. I'd rather share my screen. I, obviously, I've been giving Under Armour a lot of grief, you know, but... I did an article the other day on, on the site. Now, first off, Chris, Arc Dash USA, Arc Times House of Kicks Network, um, www.arch-usa.com. Go to the website. You got to start sharing the website because we're doing these really good in-depth sneaker stories. So if you're just joining in or if nobody's even joining in and you come back and watch this later, when you come back, you're gonna go. You'll be able to go back to the beginning and see this shoe that Taib just showed you, and it's the uh, Under Armour uh, Curry Three, and it looks like they're doing a Lux. They did the Lux with the Curry Two miserably. It just failed miserably. It didn't sell, and um, you can find the shoe. Uh, Taib, how much is the Curry Three Lux selling for now? Uh, the Curry One Lux is, is down to like 109, man. Like, Curry, they're selling, that's what I mean. Curry One and Curry Two. Yeah, um, the Curry One Lux is selling for 109. Some places send them for like $99. Actually, I went to um, Finish Line. Finish Line had it for 109 plus 30% off. So the shoe is doing hard. I mean, they're doing awful, man. So it's, it's not doing good. Like, it's, it's bad. So I don't know what they're thinking. I don't, I don't, I don't understand, man. Uh, you know what? It's really frustrating to kind of see a, a, a shoe company that you kind of admire. You, I admire Under Armour because they're like, uh, you know, they function. They're only 20 years old, so they're new. They're the underdog. They're the guys trying to come in and fight against Nike and protect this house and all of that. You start seeing, the more you start digging into the sneaker culture and the sneaker business, and you look at them more than just release dates, to attention to marketing, right? You also start paying close attention to how a company is positioning themselves in the market. 
And although Under Armour has seen like 20% growth year over year, man, since 95, basically, they've been improving constantly, constantly. Last year, at the end of quarter three, we saw Under Armour take a nosedive in the stock shares, right? So now the company is going to have to pivot how to get people re-inspired the brand and get people investing again so they can actually generate uh, money through uh, the stock market, through the stock market to have some, you know, excess revenue instead of just having cash flow. Uh, and, uh, but the, you know, that's, that's neither here nor there. But the problem is this Curry 3, this luxury Curry 3, that picture you just showed me, we don't know when it comes out. It might be a sample. It might be uh, something that may not drop at all. So we're we're looking at it and we're like, man, why would they do that? If three, I asked the question, is the Under Armour Curry three selling? And I wrote the article on the website and then I gave you statistics. And the average price that the Curry three is selling for on eBay is one hundred and six dollars. The shoe retails at one forty. If the shoe is selling that far below retail before even the retailers can put it on sale soon that the shoe's not moving at all in store. I finished writing the article. What I said that um, I said that on the low end, the Curry 3 is probably selling uh, one out of four pair of shoes, right? So I was saying that about 25% of the shoes are probably selling out through their retail outlets. And then they make this Curry Lux. And then I saw, I think I was on uh, Soul Collective, somebody else's website, even though we, we do a different thing than Soul Collective. We do in-depth analysis sneakers. We don't just talk launch day. So let's drop Soul Collective's name in here. They put a picture up today of an Under Armour Curry 3.5. And I mean, and it, it's terrible. You know, this is ugly. It, it doesn't make any sense to do a 3.5. You're still releasing curry threes you've made one commercial hashtag make that old one commercial for the curry three you haven't done any promo for the curry line you walk into Foot Locker. there are no posters of under armor i went in today to pick up a, a pair of curries myself i actually went in today to pick up a pair today and um wanted to get a pair of socks to go with it uh one t-shirt and it was a black and gray t-shirt Nothing to match the Dub Nation colorway of the Curry 3. Uh, you know, it, it just is beyond me as far as what they're attempting to accomplish. So, Under Armour, and I'm just kind of like, man, it doesn't make sense. But people are going to watch this and they're going to say, well, what are you guys talking about? What do you think should happen for I us to decide? I think that you know what I'm saying? Marketing is um, talking, yeah, but man. I mean, they're not going to come and pay us for marketing tips. Then you know we can talk about it all day. They're not going to pay unless they do come in and say, "Hey, what do you guys suggest?" Well, I could give them thirty suggestions. I mean, as a matter of fact, I can go to the website. You know, let me take a second and click over. Yes, go to the website. Do me a favor. Tell tell the audience how many stuff the shoes you've sold in the last two months, just to show that it really the shoe really sells. But people just don't know how to sell it because UA means under our, they don't understand content creation. They don't understand how to reach out to people. Like, people aren't just going to buy Steph Curry three shoes, man. Like, listen, the first, the first Curry that came out, like the very first one, they had, like, stories behind them. Like the Dark Matter, for example. We talk about Steph Curry, inner you know, strength, how he went out and he, he really just wanted to play. There's, like, some kind of stuff to it. Now, I just saw, it, like, a, the, the Curry Flight jacket. Like, the military uh, theme shoes. I can't, it doesn't resonate with me. I don't care about that. It's just another shoe to me. So, you got to do better than that. Like, when you walk into a house of hoops, you see Kyrie shoes on the wall. You see Kyrie with a ball with the crossover. It's like, you get into the whole thing. You're like, man, I want these shoes. There's a lot of content. Kyrie's on, on the internet. Who's like Steph Curry's not doing that, and and Under Armour is just not getting it, man. Like 
People aren't just going to buy the shoes. He's not an underdog anymore. He's not. He's not. Yeah, he's not. I agree. I agree. He's not. He's not an under underdog anymore. Um. All right. So your question is the Curry three. Um, let me see if I can share screens. I don't know if the I don't know if we can actually see it if I share screens. Let me see though. Because a lot of people may look at this and they may not um you know the website. Okay, so I'm sharing the screen. So this is the article I wrote. You go to the website, I got, like I said, and you can see it. Is the Under, Under Armour Curry 3 selling? Now, what I did was I pulled up statistics. At the point where I did this article, it was on December 29th. Um, on that date, there were 842 listings on eBay. All right, so we're looking at a small sample size. But what I'm trying to do is compare, do maybe basically like a, a ratio, macro comparison. So if we can take a small portion, then we can see how the bigger market is doing. 842 listings on eBay. 597 listings were completed. 416 were sold listings. Now, when I went in and I did the average price on it, you see this average price of $106.69. That's below retail. Now, I gave a whole list of reasons why sales have been slow up since the release. And in those reasons, they released a shoe curry didn't play in the olympics so there was no olympic marketing behind the curry three he was doing a tour in china because under arm is trying to grow in china um they only made one commercial that commercial didn't come out until october and it came out late october and it was uh make that old and that spot was a solid spot and it aired and what I thought was Under Armour was going to do some real deal marketing behind the Curry 3. So I thought, man, you know what? It might do pretty well. But I actually killed the Curry 3 when it first came out because I thought that it lacked branding. Because if you look at it from the side, you can't see any Under Armour logos. And I thought that the toe box was not, you know, there was just not enough to the shoe to make it kind of stand out from the pack. It looked kind of like a Curry, like a Kyrie. And then it looked a lot like the Air Jordan 22. All right, so I did a whole article on that. But this is the data set that I came up with from eBay. So you have a, 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 a shoe that's a $140 shoe, and the men's shoe is selling at $106.69. That's a bad sign. Two, I used my own website, right? So I sat down and said, okay, let's see how many pair I've sold. Now, I sold a pair today. I sold one pair today. And... Um, so these are the Under Armour Curry 3 sales. Now, I'm on Amazon, so it's a little bit different than everybody else. Um, I had 86 pair in inventory, right? Um, sold listings for 42. Now, these are averages because what I'm doing is actually buying and reselling the shoe. Um, I sold 42 of the 86 article to get a you know more in-detail discussion point. I don't want to go overboard here. The men's shoe was 140. That's the average price that it's sold for on Amazon when you go in and average up what people are selling the shoe for. The price that I sold the men's shoe for was $189.99. That's more than retail. The kid's shoe is selling for an average cost of $126 on Amazon. All right. So that's over retail. The box price of the Curry 3, or the Kyrie, yeah, the Curry 3 is 124 but that's actually dropped down ten dollars is 115 when you go in the store selling the kids shoes for is 158.91 so the question becomes why is it that i'm capable of selling the shoe at a higher price than even under armor is able to sell it it's marketing the work that i do on this website it makes people a lot more comfortable with the with the product and the product description that I create in comparison to what Under Armour is creating or that people on eBay are creating, my much better than everyone else's, my feedback on my store, all of these different things that play into it, do at a higher rate. But this is what I realized, and I'm gonna cut it short because we're gonna go long, and I don't wanna go so long that people don't stay with us because I mean, I want people to really get something out of this. My analysis is this, um, Amazon, eBay. eBay is not in line with the market. I think Amazon's in line with the, with the market. 
if I'm selling a clip on Amazon, I'm going to weigh that and compare it to, let me stop sharing the screen so we can come back to the video. If I'm selling at about a 48% sell through on my Under Armour shoes, then the store should be selling at a 48% sell through rate. But this is the problem. I have to take into consideration the eBay numbers. If eBay can't sell the shoes at retail and the stores can't put the shoes on sale, they're in the idea that for retail on eBay and they're struggling to move. My 50% sale through is not comparable to the market. We have to knock some of that off. And I came to the, I, I finally came to this total. I said that the Under Armour Curry, and we won't know for sure until like maybe Matt Powell at MPD Group comes in and does the quarter four sales. I think that the Under Armour Curry 3 is, has about a 30, a 25 to 35% sale through rate. <laughs> That's not good at all. Not. Would they go in and create a 3.5 version of a shoe that only has about a 35% sell through rate? And is, that's what my question is, and that's what I want people to think about. So I'm done yakking, and I'll answer it. And I, hopefully, I didn't go too long and put people to sleep. Well, hey, it is what it is. If you have to get out of information, then we got to get it out. Like I said, man, like when I saw that uh, in the Curtis Lux, I just shook my head, man, because I feel like they, they never learned. Like, if, if you're not doing good on the, the only shoe that you actually sold well, which was the Curry 1, why would you want to make a, a Curry 3 Lux? You're not even selling the, the, the regular basketball shoes well, so no one cares about the luxury because they, they're not going to get into it. But, you know, that's our time for the day, man. Uh -huh. Like I said, this is House of Kicks. I'm Ty from House of Kicks .com and, and Chris from Arch. That's USA, like he said. We do more than just talk about what's coming out and what color – it looks like and all this and we we wanna we wanna get you to think a, a little bit more all right so stay tuned for more stuff and, and i appreciate you guys um putting over the length of the video all right thanks for watching again this is taib and chris from dash usa peace peace